Yo, yo, what up, everybody? ETA on the EUC. <clears throat> this is, uh, I guess you could say, this is podcast number two. Uh, you know, I was planning on making, kind of give you my thoughts on the Commander Pro since I've had it. Uh, I've actually, uh, like, I, well, you're going to actually see how I'm going to jump topics all the time because I'm not going to edit this too much. So I guess you're just going to have to deal with it. But, uh, yeah, I have a previous episode uh, podcast where I talk about, you know, why I got into food delivery, what I like about food delivery, what got me into uh, electric unicycles and food delivery, and then combining them. It's all in the first podcast, so if you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. But this is mainly just going to be about the Commander Pro and my thoughts. Uh, right now, I have anywhere from probably like 120 to 150 miles on this I'm actually riding it right now um, I'm on the Greenway bike pathway I think you call it I just for FYI guys like I mess up names all the time if you watch enough of my videos you'll probably notice I mess up like 50% of the restaurant names so if I make mistakes as far as mistakes with saying names and stuff like that there you go excuse out the way um, <clears throat> so yeah my thoughts on the Commander Pro okay well there's a lot to talk about I probably will edit this just to make it more streamlined uh, I'm mainly going to compare it with uh, the Sherman Max because the Sherman Max I know well I have like over 9,000 miles on the Sherman Max doing food delivery so I know it very well uh, I'm going to talk about the differences between those two because they're the most similar. One's a non-suspension, which is Sherman Max, and then this one's a suspension. So we're just going to get right into it, right off the cuff. I didn't really prepare for this, but... <clears throat> Alright, so the main difference I noticed with the Commander Pro is stability, especially at high speeds. Um, now, I literally just, like I said, I'm going I'm to flip topics here a lot, man, because I got a lot to say, and that's kind of how I talk. But uh, I literally just switched the tire on here. Uh, I'm riding around right now once again. I had um, the knobby uh, stock tire. I don't know exactly what it's called. Uh, maybe C22 or something. I don't know. But it was the knobby stock tire that came with the Commander Pro. <clears throat> and I got my Commander Pro from AliExpress, and I know I have a link below that talks about getting uh, where I get my EUCs, and that link is eWheels, and I, I've got all my uh, wheels from there, and obviously it's an affiliate link, but the best customer service out there, you guys, so, you know, it's a, it's a really good company is eWheels. Anyway, so I had the knobby tire on here, and... Uh, I literally just switched it out today. It took me like six hours. And there's a huge difference between the knobby tire and the street tire. And it's, it's not what I thought. Um, so the knobby tire, in my opinion, okay, I, have, I didn't measure it. I didn't even look at the, the, uh, the diameter online or anything. But the knobby tire on this uh, Commander Pro looked skinny. It looked skinnier. Then what I have right now, which is the Kenda 340A street tire. So it looks skinnier. Therefore, when I rode it, like at lower speeds, it felt like it wanted to tip over a little bit, you know? And like as you picked up speed, you were more stabilized. So my first impression of the Commander Pro was that it's not a wheel for low speeds. Because when I was at low speeds, it felt like it wanted to tip kind of side to side. It was hard to stay up a little bit, you know? And then as soon as I got speed and the faster I went, the more stable it was. Um, compared to the Kenda 340A, which I have on right now, which took me forever to change, by the way, because you got to take apart this whole freaking commander to put on this tire. Anyway, another story. Let this person pass. It was someone on an S22. Anyway, um, 
That's another thing. I made a big complaint about people, like, in one of my videos, I was like, oh, he didn't wave, blah, blah, blah. And I realized how stupid that sounded. You know, if you don't want to wave, you ain't got to wave, dude. Like, it's like when someone's on an e-bike and you see another person on the e-bike, you don't wave to them, you know? <laughs> you know, when you, I think it's like when you ride these things long enough, you're kind of just like, whatever, dude. If I don't know the guy, I'm just not going to wave at him, whatever. And you don't have to. Anyway, just want to get that out there. It's all good. You ain't got to wave. Um, so, yeah, the 340A Kenda, it looks wider. It's a street tire. And uh, the main difference so far, what I noticed between this one and the, the Nobby, the stock Nobby, is once again with the Nobby, it felt like it was going to tip over, especially at low speeds. Um, I mean, you can still keep balance and you can maneuver a little bit more with it because it felt like it could tip over a little easier, right? But with this, this stock, like at low speeds, it almost does not want to tip over. Like, it's like, screw you, I'm staying straight. <laughs> like, when I first got on it tonight, it's my first time riding it, I almost thought I made a mistake because I'm like, dude, this thing won't turn. It won't turn, right? Um, like, even at low speeds, it's, like, hard to turn. It's like, I have to, like, t I have to, like, Force, forcibly move the EUC, like tilt it on purpose for it to turn. I mean, it's a lot harder to turn. It may be because it has more road surface on it, it's a street tire, and it's wider. That might be the reason. Uh, now that's a good and bad thing, right? Like it's good, like, because at lower speeds, I don't, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's gonna tip over. Like with the knobby, it felt like it was gonna tip over. Uh, at lower speeds, it just wants to stay up with the street tire. But the, the downside of that is it's harder to maneuver. It's a lot harder to maneuver. It kind of feels like more like a Sherman now, like to maneuver. It's uh, you got to put a lot more weight into it. But uh, these are just my first impressions. You know, things may change over time. It, already, it kind of feels like it's starting to maneuver a little easier. I don't know. I don't know, that might all be in my head. But as far as going fast with the street tire, it feels um, it feels as stable or more stable than the knobby going fast. So this, this wheel is a lot more stable than the Sherman. Like, and that probably has to do with, uh, you know, the suspension. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but it is an incredibly stable wheel. Like, and now I have the street tire on it. It's even stable at low speeds. So it is incredibly stable. So stable that I feel like almost more comfortable at high speeds <laughs> than I do like slowing down in a bike lane because in a bike lane, you got to dodge everybody and stuff like that. But it's just so stable at high speeds. Like I'm completely comfortable. Add it with the suspension. Um, I'm not afraid of bumps or anything like that. I just, like, I almost want to ride with the, uh, with the Commander Pro with the, um, <laughs> a whole bunch of bros, like a pack of bros just walking down the street. Kind of caught my attention. But anyway, um, it's like, whoa, a pack of bros, got to watch out for some weird reason. But, uh, yeah, so the wheel's just incredibly stable. Um, okay, so that's that. The suspension, it, like I said, the biggest difference obviously between this and the Sherman Max is the suspension here. You know, with the Sherman Max, I would go certain parts over like the roads in New York and it would jolt me at certain areas. Like if I hit little potholes or whatever the wheel wants to bounce because it has no suspension like if you hit a bump or something it wants the whole wheel bounces right um and it's a jolting experience right you got to kind of kind of lift yourself up while you go over potholes so the wheel don't bounce and like knock you off or whatever sometimes if the pothole is really big and you got to kind of maneuver around them and stuff like that without a suspension on the sherman max but with this it's kind of like I'm so used to riding non-suspension wheels that I'm still kind of jumping on my own, like lifting my body up off the pedals a little bit, even though it has suspension. But 
I'll ride over a bump now and it's like, it, I don't even think about it. You know, it's, that's the major difference with the suspension. I'm not gonna get too much into the suspension because this is my first suspension wheel. So it's still all new to me. I feel like there's still a lot to learn. Like I still need to learn about the suspension. So yeah, you know, it's just super smooth, super stable, much more uh, confident going at high speeds don't have to worry about bumps and shit. That's the main thing with the suspension. Um, let's talk about acceleration. Let's talk about braking and then comparing it to the Sherman Max, right? So the Sherman Max is known to be like one of the best wheels out. It has great acceleration, uh, great torque, it has good braking, um, you know. <laughs> What I can say, oh uh, yeah, the Sherman Max is a, it's a 100 volt wheel, right? This is 134 volt, the Commander Pro. Now, I don't know if it's because 134 volt, I don't know if it's because it's a bigger motor. I think this is 3,500 watt motor. Um, did I say that right, watt? Yeah, I think it's watt. And then the Sherman is like 2400 watt, I don't know. But it's it's less watt motor, so this is a stronger motor, and it's 134 volt. So I could say confidently, after riding at 150 miles, something like that, that this this has more stronger acceleration, like than the Sherman Max. I'm pretty damn confident this thing would beat the Sherman Max off the line, and the Sherman Max ain't no joke. And um, <clears throat> so the acceleration out the box with the Commander Pro is better than the latest firmware with the Sherman Max. Now there was a significant improvement. I felt like a great improvement with the acceleration with the Sherman Max when I did the update, the firmware update. I did it on the EUC world. It's the latest update or whatever. My, the old update that I had was one that just came out the box. It was a stock or whatever with the Sherman Max. And after I updated the Sherman Max to the latest firmware, I'm like, wow, this thing accelerates so much better. And it's true. The low, the low end torque and stuff, if, or the low end speed felt like a really, it, like a picked up. And I was like, wow, this is a big difference. And so I'm comparing the Commander Pro out the box um, acceleration to the updated firmware Sherman Max. This Commander Pro stock um, acceleration is faster than the updated Sherman Max firmware. So this thing can get, all right? So it has better acceleration and then added with the suspension on top of that, it's much more smooth as well. Okay, what else? All right, so We'll talk about braking. To me, honestly, like the braking feels similar. It feels basically just like the Sherman Max. Like I don't notice any difference between this braking um, and the Sherman Max. It's really as simple as that to me. Um, so that's that. What else? Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, so I opened it up um, to change out the tire, and first of all, the tire change on this is a bitch, dude. <laughs> because you have to take off the side pieces where the batteries are connected, then you gotta take off the top, you gotta take off the handles, you gotta unscrew the, sus the suspension rods from the wheel, and it's just, it's a lot of work, dude. You're basically taking apart the whole damn thing just to get, just to change out the tire. And then I messed up the tire and I punctured one of the tubes and it was just like a whole ordeal. Took me like five hours, dude, to freaking do a tire change. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I brought that up because I had to open up the top to see the motherboard and stuff like that. And when you saw EVs um, tear down, they were kind of bashing on it a little bit, right? They were like this and that, this and that. But when I saw it, this is the latest batch, by the way. It has to be the latest batch, and I'll talk about why in a second. 
um, as far as to date, it's the latest batch. Um, so the wire management, it looked really clean on the inside. It looked, it looked pretty organized. Um, you know, everything was siliconed up. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that it looked like bad. Like I wouldn't have any doubts about the Bagode company or Extreme Bull for making this by looking at the motherboard. I don't know if I explained that, but it looked fine to me, you know? And I didn't have any complaints about that. Um, so I know this is kind of like the latest batch because it has the internal mud guard that's metal. The screen, I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it up, I guess. But the screen is, you know, it's not red, it's white and it's very visible which means they put film over it. I know in the first batch or two, they didn't have film over the screen, the speedometer on the top of the wheel. So you couldn't really see it in the daylight and all the, it looked like it just, like it was a blur. So they must have put film over it because I could see it really good in the day and I could see it really good at night. I have no complaints with the screen. I could see it fine. I don't know why people are complaining about it. They must be really fat if they can't see it because I could see it really good actually. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, they got the motor wire harness, um, sheet metal connected. They didn't have one on the first batch. Anyway, so I'm not going to get too far into this because um, I'm not going to edit this. I know you guys are probably like, dude, this dude's all over the place. But yeah, that's kind of my impression. And like I said, I got this off AliExpress uh, after taxes. It was like 3,200. It was the latest batch. Um, it got here a month earlier than what it said, and it had no tracking on it. And I would text them like, or I would uh, message the dealer on AliExpress like, hey, dude, you got my tracking yet? Because like a, uh, a couple weeks went by, no tracking. They said, oh, they'll send it out when they, when they send it on the ship. Okay, whatever. A month goes by, I, I messaged him again. Oh, they said they sent it, but you should be getting it as far as when it hits this spot. And it's been a couple, it's been a week at least since I messaged him and I still haven't got the damn thing. I got the wheel a month ahead of time and I still haven't got the tracking on it. So if I really wanted to be shady, dude, I could just be like, hey, I never got the wheel. Like, you know, and then I don't know if I can get away with it. I don't know because they didn't give me a tracking that means i can be like hey you guys never gave me a tracking i never got the wheel do you have proof that it even came i don't have tracking on it so i guess if i really wanted to be kind of like janky like that i could do that but they probably got some tracking on their end because it was delivered as far as i know with fedex i don't know who delivered it they didn't have a signature it just ended up in my doorstep um but someone was scanning it along the way, so I think it's probably in the system, but I'm not that kind of person. Don't get me wrong, I thought about it, because I was like, damn, $3,200 would be nice to get back. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna confirm the receipt that I got the, that I got the wheel and shit. Like, I ain't gonna play no games. They probably got it scanned in the system or something like that, but no tracking. So yeah, I got it a month early. Um, for 3200 would I, would I say this wheel is worth it? Fuck yeah. As far as I can tell, this wheel is better than the Sherman Max, dude. I mean, that's another thing I wanted to talk about, okay? So, range. Now, I haven't done any proper range tests on this. I really haven't even been looking at the uh, mile, or I haven't been looking at the battery percentage per mile or whatever. I haven't been paying attention to that. Mainly, I've just been riding it to get a feel for it is what I've been doing lately. Uh, think about turning around here. Nope. Um, when I first wrote it, I thought it wasn't going to get... Um, I just found another thing I could talk about. Some seated riding. But when I first rode this thing, I thought it wasn't going to get as much mileage as the Sherman Max because I was, I was on a joy ride. I had the music up. I was speeding. You know, I was going fast or whatever, just right, kicking ass on this thing. And I'm like, I looked at the battery percentage. I'm like, damn, it's at this already? Um, I can't remember what it was, but it was definitely seemed like it was draining faster than what my Sherman Max usually drains. And the reason um, I thought that 
it was going to drain faster than the Sherman Max was because of that, but also because the Sherman Max, when I ride it, I'm doing food delivery. So it's not like I'm taking it on a joy ride. It's not like I'm speeding. You know, with food delivery, you're taking like stops every now and then. You know what I mean? Holy shit. This dude almost ran me over with a scooter. Uh, let me turn around, dude. Uh, yeah, so with the Sherman Max, I'm not going the whole time. I'm not doing a jolly ride. Usually I'm doing food delivery. There's a lot of downtime. So therefore, I get more miles, miles out of the Sherman Max. You know what I mean? It makes sense. If I was to do a jolly ride like I did when I first got the Commander Pro and just haul ass listen to music and stuff, who knows? Maybe I would have got the same miles. So I don't know which one go gets better or worse mileage uh, for the battery. They're both 3,600 watt hour batteries. My suspicion would be that the Sherman Max would, would get better mileage because it's lighter. It's not, it's only 100 volt. It's not 130 volt, volt 30 full volt. Great, we got a fucking helicopter. Let me turn around again. So my suspicion is that uh, Sherman is gonna get more mileage. I don't know. But uh, I did take this out. I was on do nine hour shift. And that's another thing <laughs> is the apps. What the fuck is that? Is that cop car in a Mercedes? What the hell? It's like an undercover cop car in a Mercedes or a Lexus or something weird. Uh, so I took this out on a nine hour shift the other night doing food delivery. I mean, I got a lot to talk about actually now that I think about it. And because there's downtime and shit like that, uh, it said like I had 50% left um, after nine hours of food delivery on the Commander Pro, 50% battery. Now, I don't know if that's accurate or not because I think the Commander Pro has not been updated. It's not been, it's not very accurate in the apps because it's a different battery percentage on the, on EUC World, on Darkness Bot, which is on um, iPhone and on the Bigot app, all different battery percentages. And I just did an update, firmware update with this, which I don't think changed anything. I don't know. And now it's a different battery percentage on the Bigot app. So I don't know if I should take these battery percentages right or not, because they're all different on all the apps. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know anything about the battery percentage, guys. Sorry. But I was. it said 50%. Um, so whatever, after nine hours, whatever. Uh, which is pretty damn good in my opinion. Uh, so we're talking about the food delivery shit. Obviously, I'm doing this for food delivery. Uh, fucking. Would I re recommend this wheel for food delivery? I think my mind's going to change um, over time. But this wheel, the first, at least the first couple sessions with it felt very heavy to me. Now, it doesn't feel that much heavier when you lift it up, like physically, um, like with the handles and shit. It, it feels a little heavier than the Sherman Max, but not by much. Like, it's not a big deal to me. It's a 96 pound wheel. Sherman Max is like an 84, 86, something. I don't know. So it's like 10 pounds heavier than the Sherman Max, and it feels that way. But the biggest difference is the pedals. The pedals are up higher, obviously, because the suspension. And that's what felt like it was wearing me out because you would have to stop at every light, put your feet on the ground, mount again, and you're kind of like, ugh, lifting up, right? Like, ugh, stepping up a big step every time you do it. Now, you don't really notice it, but after a while, it, you kind of feel like I was starting to get worn out. Like, I felt worn out. But I don't know, like, I felt like emotionally worn out and a little physically. I don't know if it's because it was the stress of a new wheel. And for a little bit there, I didn't have any pads on it because the original ones hurt my fucking shins. So I took those off and I was stupid to ride it around a couple hours without the pads while I, someone was gonna meet me to give me their Grizzler pa Grizzler pads that uh, I was gonna pay for. So in the meantime, I was just riding around for two hours before I met them doing food delivery. And I didn't have any pads on this. 
And oh my God, was I anxious, dude. I was nervous because let me tell you, this thing needs pads. Like the shell's super slippery without pads. It's, it's sketchy, dude. Like, and this is someone that has over 10,000 miles of EUC experience. This mother, I was riding this thing around like, oh, please God, bike, don't. <laughs> I was like thinking to myself like, bike, don't turn in front of me right now. I'm not sure if I can stop this motherfucker <laughs> because it's heavier, right? And so the momentum without pads, like with the Sherman Max, I, I feel like I, I can get away with uh, without power pads to break the wheel, to accelerate the wheel. I felt like I can do that, but uh, these guys working on the bike lane. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. No, I'm not. Ooh, this is a long podcast, guys. I know. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I can get away with the shirt. Let me turn the lights off. I'm kind of on a pedestrian spot right here. Sure, Max, I feel like I can get away with the side pads and not worry about it too much. Um, Damn, they got everything closed off. Let me, let me come out this way right quick. Like, they had the bike lane closed off because uh, they're doing, like, construction and stuff, so I had to take, like, the pedestrian sidewalk. So I'm just kind of maneuvering my way. Damn, they, now they want me to take the street? I'm taking the fucking street. Nope, not going that way. Going back on the bike pedestrian path. Um, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Anyway, long story short, dude, I feel like you need pads on this thing. It's it's just it's too heavy of a wheel. The shelling is too slippery. Um, so I got my I got these Grizzly pads that I paid for, and now it feels like a wheel I can control. So I just get pads for this. Don't even think about riding without pads, right? I don't like the stock pads. It was too close on my shins, even though they look huge and they are big. Maybe it's because the way I had them angled. They were digging in my shins. They were killing my fucking shins, dude. So I got rid of them, got the Grizzly pads. Now it's sweet. It's great. I feel like I have a lot of control of the wheel. Oh, what else? Seated riding. Okay, so seated riding. <laughs> the top of this thing is like a crate, dude. It's like flat like a box. Um... It's a really nice night out tonight, bro. It's like 70-something degrees. Everyone's out. It's like fucking 12 o'clock in the morning almost right now. Um, yeah, so the top is like a box. It's super flat. Yo, they got all this shit shut off. Let me turn around. <sighs> super flat top. Um, super wide. So when I sit on it, it's like... Sit on it right now. It's just super flat. There's like, <laughs> compared to the Sherman, and it's comfortable, it has those pads on the top. There's no need to buy a fucking seat with this, with the pads that come on the side here. On um, the little like stick on pads or whatever. They grow all around the corners of the top. It's super flat, dude. Like, <laughs> and now with the, now with the, uh, street tire I have on here it used to worry me with the stock uh, knobby because with the stock knobby when you're going seated and you're slowing down like I said it wanted to tip a little bit with the knobby um, so when I was seated riding I kind of felt like I was going to tip over a lot but now with the fucking street tire on here it's like super stable especially when sitting at, and even when sitting down um so yeah, super comfortable, seated, super flat, super wide. No need to buy a seat in my opinion. Um, great seated riding wheel. Great. Better than the Sherman. The Sherman, like, it would kind of rub me raw after a while. You know, I'd get sore after a while on my groin area. Or the fuck. Anyway, yeah, it would get sore. This, I'm not going to get sore, I can tell. Cool. Uh, what else? think here I feel like I said a lot I probably said something about the performance you guys have been just like okay but how fast this thing is faster than the Sherman as far as I know 55 miles an hour safely supposedly Sherman says 45 the light 
it's not as good as a Sherman, but I like it. It kind of, it's like a little brighter than the 16X. It's like, it's kind of like a 16X uh, light. It's a little up higher. Um, cool. Oh, uh, what else? The stand works really well. The, t the two uh, rubber stops on the front works really well when you park it. Super stable. The handles, there is some, I thought somewhere, like the plastic stock handles, I thought I heard online somewhere that they were sharp and they hurt. No, they're comfortable, they work fine. I, I wouldn't buy the CNC ones for the price they're asking, like, uh, suppose they're gonna come on later batches, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I got the CNC uh, trolley handle on here. It's, it's, it's really thick. Oh, well, it's really sturdy, it's really strong. I don't have to worry about it like I did with the uh, Sherman Max. And that was one of my pet peeves with the Sherman Max was the freaking trolley handle, dude, because because it was so high and it was like sheet metal. I don't know, it was like a sheet metal for the, tr for the um, rods. And I think they're sheet metal. And so like when you had the, the trolley extended upwards, like when you're trolling around, if the wheel was a tip over and fall on its side, with the rails up, it would break the rails because the rails are like easy, easily uh, breakable. And they were the kind of rails, if you bent them, you couldn't just bend them back and like make them work again. If they were bent, they were fucked. You had to go buy another one and they're expensive. So I, I broke mine like four or five times and they're expensive and you keep buying them. You're like, Motherfuck. every time I broke that damn thing and the plastic handle on the, the, um, <clears throat> on the trolley for the Sherman Max, Super hollow, cheap feeling, and it costs like 50 bucks after shipping. It's like, dude, fuck me, man. You spend so much for this fucking trolley handle that's like easily breakable, cheap fucking material. And people didn't complain about the trolley. Like, like people, Marty, like <coughs> on Electric Unicycles YouTube, great channel, love his stuff. But he's like, I love the, he's like, I don't like the trolley handle on this Commander Pro. I, I like it on the Sherman. It's like, dude, that Sherman Charlie handle was crap, dude. Like, I, and it jiggles all the time. With this, this thing don't jiggle. It's solid, it's sturdy. If you're gonna tip this thing over, first of all, it's not even gonna hit the ground because it doesn't extend that high. Um, it's not even gonna hit the ground, I don't think, even with it extended up. And even if it hit the ground, it, it'll probably, it's, it's, it's not even gonna do nothing. So you don't have to worry about buying another Charlie. That's one thing I really like, but you do, it is a little short, I'm 5'11". When I trot it around, the best way I know how to explain it with the Commander Pro, it's like uh, maybe like holding an infant's hand when you're kind of walking, you're kind of bent over a little bit to the side, just a little bit, so it's a slightly uncomfortable, especially with the heavier wheel. Uh, hold on one sec. Pass this guy up. So yeah, you know, and with the knobby on it, with the knobby stock tire, it felt like it wanted to tip over a lot, you know, when you trolleyed it. So it was kind of like you're fighting to keep it up a little bit while you trolleyed it. But I don't know what it's like with the street tire on here, if it's going to be more stable. It probably will when I trolley it. So the trolley system's better. It's just better than Sherman Max. You're not gonna, you're not going to buy freaking parts for it with with this with these rail systems. These rail systems that would fall over and break, right? My 16X I had to replace one time because it popped open during a wreck and it, and it broke the, the thing, right? With this, even in a wreck, it's not going to break. Uh, let's see. Pedals, amazing. Awesome pedals. Best pedals I've ever used. High quality spikes, studs, super grippy, super high quality. Great pedals. <sighs> Man, I did not expect to talk this long. I'm probably boring the shit out of you guys. I know you guys probably turned this off a long time ago. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to give it all out right here. I'm not going to edit it. I was going to edit it, but I'm not going to edit it now. It's going to take way too long to edit this. Um, hmm, what else do I want to talk about? I don't want to talk about the suspension too much because I don't know too much about it. So once again, everything I talk about on this wheel, it, my opinions might change. But for 3200 I would definitely consider this wheel. <laughs> Even for 
for, I mean, it's right now, it's if you already get this on AliExpress where I got it, it's the latest batch straight from the factory. It's great. I've had no problems with it. It's the latest batch, right? 3200 after tax. Got a, it took me about a month to get here. Um, t yeah, I mean, it's cheaper than the fucking Sherman Max, even at a reduced price. A, a reduced price on, I'm not going to name any distributors, but they have an unreduced price right now, the Sherman Max. It was selling for 3800 now it's like 3400 at a reduced price. You can still get this freaking... Commander Pro on AliExpress for cheaper than the Sherman Max. And, and this has suspension, 134 volt, same everything, battery, bigger motor. So in my opinion, Sherman Max is a great, whoa. Sherman Max, is this dude almost jumped out in front of me. Sherman Max is a great freaking wheel, but it don't have suspension. It's not 134 volt. This has greater acceleration. And now that I got the street tire on it, which my opinions might change, my views might change on it over time, it feels even stable at lower speeds. And that was one of my complaints I was gonna say is, I put, I, I wrote like a little review on it, which I'll leave some links below to the reviews, my first and second ride on it, saying that this wheel is for high speed, long distance. You know, it's not for, it's not for slow speeds. Because, like I said, with the, the knobby tire on it, <clears throat> um, at low speeds, especially in the bike lane and stuff like that, it just it felt like it wanted, like you kind of had a fight to keep it up a little bit with the knobby tire. But now I got the street tire on it, and it's stable at low speeds, so I can't say it's just a long-range, fast wheel now. Now it feels like a more of an all-around wheel. It feels like... Okay, I have now control over it at low speeds as well as high speeds. This and the thing it has over the Sherman Max is it's a lot more stable. So I have super, like, I feel more confident than ever riding in the street. Like, I feel super co confident riding uh, with traffic. Like, I, like, would I ever ride a Sherman Max going on West Highway right here? Even though the right the the road's super smooth, like I want to feel comfortable. These cars are going 30, almost 40 miles an hour on a highway. Whatever the hell you want to call this, I don't know. But with the Commander Pro, I would feel comfortable out there. <laughs> so, in my opinion, it's better than Sherman Max, and Sherman Max is an awesome wheel. So I have no complaints about this wheel, dude. None. I probably missed something, but I think I'm just going to end it there. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. So that's that. Now, like I said, I did write some reviews. Uh, I wrote my, my first uh, review and then my second review. Uh, my first riding experience and my second riding experience. I'm, a, I'm on the electric unicycle forums and I wrote it there. So what I'll do, I'll just put it in a word format, uh, and then I'll put the links below. So if you want to read my first uh, ride uh, impression and my second ride impression, I'll leave them in uh, a word format. You can just download it and then read it yourself. Um, but remember, when you read those, that was with the knobby tire. So that my impression was kind of different than it is now. But you can read that. But anyway, hopefully that was... Uh, uh, enough information for you I'm sure it was I've been talking for forever um, yeah uh, so I want to kind of get back to what I do this for food delivery what I recommend this for food delivery the knobby um, I mean you can ride any wheel for food delivery but so with the knobby tire and this was yesterday I had this opinion. I'm like, you're probably better off with the Sherman Max food delivery um, because it was stable at low speeds, I felt like. And it was, you know, it's, it's still stable at higher speeds. It's just not as stable as the Commander Pro. And it's lighter and it's a little smaller and it has everything you need, long range, good torque, fast speed, super durable wheel, Sherman Max. 
Um, so I was going to say, and it's not as heavy. So I was going to say go with the Sherman Max for food delivery over this. Um, I think my opinion might change though with this um, street tire because now I feel like it's all more of an all-rounder wheel. So at low speeds I can kind of control a little bit more. Although it's harder to turn, it's harder to maneuver at lower speeds. <clears throat> but um, like I was saying earlier, when I ride this, um, I'm, I'm feeling myself getting worn out a little bit. Like after... <clears throat> After my last couple shifts, I did this two times on a shift with food delivery. I felt kind of worn out. Like I was like tired. I wanted to like take a nap. And I even pulled my back, my lower left side back. Um, like one of my last shifts, I was like tired and I was getting on the wheel, mounting it again, which kind of feels like it takes some energy when you do it over and over and over and over and over again. It's just, and plus you're trolling this heavy thing around and it just kind of, with the knobby tire, I wanted to tilt it over, so you're fighting that a little bit. And so it was just really, it tired me out. But I remember the first time I rode the Sherman Max, it tired me out too. And then it got a little bit, and I got used to the Sherman Max. Now it's like the Sherman Max, I don't even feel it. Like I don't, It doesn't wear me out. I can ride it all day. I could sleep standing up with it, right? So I don't know if it's still me trying to get used to this wheel. Um, that's why I'm so tired after a shift. But those impressions, my first impressions, would say that go with the Sherman Max. But we'll see how this goes the more I get used to this. Maybe um, I would recommend this over the Sherman Max uh, for food delivery. But as it stands right now, this thing's wearing me out when I do food delivery. It might change. So if it was me, I would go with the Sherman Max doing food delivery. Um, is this a better wheel? Yeah but it fucking wears me out when I'm doing food delivery, you know? Um, it's heavier, and it wears me out. But we'll see how that goes with time. So yeah, that's about all I really want to say. Once again, I'll leave my first and second ride uh, impressions below in a link. Um, yeah, great wheel, dude. Um, kind of slept on wheel a little bit. It was hated on the first batch. Um, and I'm super happy I got this wheel. I think it's a great fucking wheel. No issues with this so far. All right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you guys later.